All right, so maybe this is a glimmer of hope or not. Not sure. And by the way, this article I will link to in the YouTube description down below, like I always do for all this content. So Intel now claims that they're going to improve their brand new processors. These are the Arrow Lake Core Ultras, and they're going to do it with patches. Now, I don't know if you detected that, but that was a bit of a chuckle there. I own actually an Intel 13th gen processor, a 13,900KF, and it has been fine for now. But, you know, it's like the saying goes, it's not if, it's when. I don't know if it'll ever fail. I hope not. However, that's always in the back of your head, right? Knock on wood, it doesn't fail. But a lot of people who have had... 13th and 14th gen processors have had them fail and they have spent literally thousands of dollars trying to diagnose initially what the problem was. Intel was saying it's not their problem and then they admitted it actually is and they've released a few patches and now for a different thing, they're going to release patches for the brand new Arrow Lake Core Ultra processors. Now, this is the benchmark that they use here as an example, and I am well aware that this is one benchmark in one game at one resolution. Please keep that in mind. However, from what I have seen of, for example, the Intel 285K, it is below even their older Core i5 14600K. Imagine if you spent thousands of dollars upgrading your system, figuring and you should figure that, that it would be faster, well, you would be very, very disappointed. Well, I really do hope that Intel can fix and speed up their brand new processors with, who knows, motherboard patches and patches to their processors because, well, I mean, there's nothing, nothing good about this, especially if you're using the processor for gaming.